Hello, this is Pastor Dave, and welcome to our tutorial for our new online portal. This is a new option for our church uh, that we'll be using, be connected to our website, and we'll have a variety of different options available for you as a member of Tree of Life Church. Outside of just online giving, uh, once you create your profile, which we'll go through that in a minute, you'll be able to uh, find the different life groups that we have here available at the church. You'll begin be able to uh, sign up for various different events that we uh, have at the church. You have access to so many different things that we haven't had in the past. So it'll be good to create your uh, account um, so that we can... Uh, you know, continue to move forward. If any of your information ever changes, you don't have to send us anything. You just make the update here on this portal and it'll update uh, our software um, with your new information, your phone, your address, your email address, whatever information you put on there, um, it'll update that. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to create a an account. And then we'll go to uh, the giving portion. But when you come to, uh, once you click on our website, it'll take you to this page here. And then from this page, of course, you won't have an email or phone number uh, or password entered into the system. So you'll need to come here and click this sign up option here. So you don't have an account. So we're going to go ahead and create a, a dummy account. And I'm just going to call, let's say, John Doe. And we're going to give uh, an email address. And let's go ahead and create a password. And then you cl click this button here, create an account. Now, it's going to send John Doe an email address. Once you cre create your, put your email in there, it's going to send that to you so that you can activate your account. Now, if you don't get an email, maybe you type the email address wrong or something like that. Uh, or if you don't get the email, just click that resend verification and it'll get you set up to uh, to recertify. Now, go and sign into your email. And once you sign into your email, you should see an email that says, Welcome to Tree of Life Church. It'll have your email address, and it'll tell you, thank you for your interest. It'll read just like this. It tell, tells you that your account is currently inactive, and you have to click on this link here to activate your um, your new account. And then thank you for registering. So let's go ahead and click this and we'll see what happens. All right. So now you see it took me back to where I can put in more information. Let's go ahead and put in a, a uh, date of birth. And we'll just give John a January 1st of 1980. Let's do that. John is a male, of course. And let's put a, a address in there. He's from New Braunfels. Okay, and then go ahead and put a phone number in here. Now let's give John a phone number. And then when you see here over to the far right is a star. Now you can click this star if this is your preferred phone number. You may put a home phone and you may put a mobile phone number in there. And one of them may, you may prefer uh, over the other. Just go ahead and click that there so that the system knows we know what exactly uh, the what's your, your preferred number. And then you go ahead and save and create the account. Now it's going to take you back to this page where you can actually log in. So let's go ahead and get logged in. Now the good thing about this is, is that if you put a phone number in, you can also, your mobile number, you can put that mobile number in here as well. So you don't have to just put your email address, you can put your mobile number in too. And then let's go ahead and sign in. If you've ever forget your password, click that forgot and it'll help you to reset. Now we're going to go ahead and get signed in. You are into Tree of Life's online portal now. You can update your profile change your privacy settings and we'll go through all of this look up some groups that you may have already been uh, if you're just a live group that you signed up for that you'll find here you can find the groups that we have here at tree of life church and then you can do the giving so first let's start with the update our profile 
Now, it tells you your percentage of, of your profile being complete, but it gives you all of the information that you've put here that you entered on that first screen. Now, you can see that you have a little bit more information here than you had on the other. You can click update your profile and it'll give you the option to change that information or update that information. So let's start with the nick nickname. John Doe likes to go by his initials. We'll say JD is John Doe's nickname. Now you can change your household position, whether you're husband, wife, single, you're a child, extended family, or friend of a family of Tree of Life. But we'll say that John is married. And then you can, of course, update your marital status here. But of course, we already said John's married. He's a male. Tell us about yourself. Put a little quick profile in there. Then again, here you have an option to add a, your mobile number, add your work number, and then mark whether or not it's preferred or not. You've got an emergency contact information there. You can put in some new uh, email addresses. And then you can mark here if you want to stay subscribed to church communication emails. If you click it, then that will unsubscribe you from church communication emails that we will be sending out in the future. And then, of course, you've got your address if you need to change that for any reason. A website that you may have. And then you can actually attach links to your social network profiles, which is also a good thing to do. So let's go ahead and... I made a few changes, so let's go ahead and, uh, oh, well, before I do that, also you can see here at the top, you have an option to add a picture. So after you finish entering all of that information, go ahead and hit save changes. Now you can see it made a little bit more complete. It's 57 complete now, 57%. Uh, you see you have the option here for privacy settings. So let's go ahead and click that. Now, from the privacy settings, you get to determine who sees what of your information. Now, the only people that will have the ability to see everything is us here on the church staff. We will have the ability to see all of your information, but that's it. We currently have that ability now, and we will keep that ability even with this online portal. But you can see here across the top, you can determine by these sliders what information you want to see, you want people to see. So say you want, uh, well, the good thing is with everyone, uh, the everyone section won't necessarily apply because we won't have a church directory. Um, so that won't be, you know, available. But let's say you don't want uh, group members to see, any group that you're assigned up to, to see your address, but you just want the group leaders to see it. So we'll mark that. And you can see down here, it lets you know what people see, what everyone is going to see. Say you want to take take your date of birth and you only want the church staff to see that. And now you can see your date of birth has been removed from everyone. And then say, um, but the other thing is, if you, you want to keep your date of birth on there, it won't show the year. It will only show the month and date. So I know some won't, don't want to see how old you are or how young you are, but it'll show your birthday uh, and the month. So let's change that. And then we want everyone to see our email address. And let's say we only want our group leaders to see the phone numbers, so on and so forth. And so as you make those changes, you'll see here that this continues to change and you get to determine what people see. And again, the only group of people that have the ability to see everything in the system is the church staff. And we already have that access, as I said before, so nothing will change with that. Now, once you finish that, go ahead and hit Save Privacy Settings. And then lastly, you see you have the option to change your login or your password, but we won't go through that. So let's go back to our homepage. Now, we've gone through the settings, and again, once you uh, sign up for different groups, any group that you sign up for will be found in this particular section under your groups. Now, if I click there, you'll see there's nothing here. It just says if you're ready to get started, you can find your first group to join. Now, if you were to click that, that link will take you to this exact link here to find a group. Now, currently, we don't have any groups listed, but here in, the, in a few weeks, you're going to see groups listed as our life group semester kicks back up. You'll be able to sign up for those groups, find out where they are, 
uh, who the leader is, so on and so forth. And then lastly, your giving. So we want to look, take a look at that. So once you click on your giving, you'll, have, you'll see a history here. Once you, your profile is connected, you'll see a history here of all of your giving. The good thing is, at the end of the year, say you want to download your own statement of your own giving. You have the ability to do that. You can change these the contributions for if you have a, a full household. Your family will be listed here. You can see the history as the head of the household. You can see your history as well as anyone else listed in your family. You can change the year. And then, of course, you click view. Now, from this page, you have the option to give now or to schedule your giving. Now, if you give now, it'll only be a one-time thing. But if you schedule your giving, you can schedule it on a recurring basis. If you do that, when you click the schedules here, you'll see all of the schedules that you have set here. So let's just go to the Give Now and see what that looks like. Now from the Give Now page, you click the Give Now and you'll see the different options that we have to, to give to. Our tithes and offerings, building uh, and pledge, our Mexico church, and then also missions. You select any one of those and then you put your amount here. You can see it total adds up the total there. So let's say I want to give my tithes and my offering, but then I also want to give to missions. Now I have the option to whether it's missions uh, to select missions India if I wanted to get go to that specific one. So let's say yes for missions India, and then I want to give to missions India. Now you can see the total has changed again, but you also have the option to remove that if you'd like to. Now, you have the option here to give by personal check, where you put your phone number here, the routing number from your check, and your account number. And you can see there's a picture of a check here, for an example. Uh, and you put those numbers here in those boxes. And then you have the bank card option. Our church only accepts Visa and, and MasterCard. So you can see that those options are available right there. You can enter all of your information here, the expiration date, security code, your full address, so on and so forth. Now, once you say all of this information is accurate, I want to continue. Well, I didn't put in all of the information, so it won't actually go through. So after you've selected all of these options, you filled out your information, whether you're going to use a personal check or a bank card, you're going to go ahead and click this continue button. Because I haven't entered any information, I'm not going to click it. But once you click that, it'll take you to the next page where you review and confirm the information that you put in, the amounts. And then at the very bottom, you'll have the option to finalize your contribution or to submit your contribution. Once you do that, you will actually get an email sent to you with a confirmation saying, hey, this is your receipt. Thank you for giving the Tree of Life Church. And you'll have that information as your confirmation so you'll know that it actually went through. Now, if you set up a, uh, then you'll see instantly, once you hit that submit button, you'll instantly see the history of that transaction right here. It'll show that right there, the amount, so on and so forth. Now, if you schedule uh, schedule giving, we're going to take a look at that. So let's say I'm going to give my tithes and my offering $100. We're going to go ahead and click continue. Now, I want to give this twice a month. I get paid twice a month. I want to give it twice a month. This is going to begin on the 1st of, let's say, September the year 2015 and it's not going to end now if you're on the second screen you can also see here to the far right you have the ability to edit the amount that you selected and the fund that you were selecting to give to or you can hit this back and it'll take you back to that same page so we'll click continue and it'll take you to your payment method and once you get here you can see as you pr progress through these screens all the information that you're entering is showing here on the far right of your screen. Now you can choose here whether you're going to give by personal check or if you're going to give by credit card. So you put all of your information in there and then you hit continue. And again, as with the give now option, you're going to have take be taken to a page where you can review the information that you've entered 
and finalize or submit your contribution. Then once you submit, based upon that date, that transa- those transactions are going to begin to transpire, to take place. And you will actually see, you'll see that schedule show up here. At any point in time, if you want to change that schedule, delete that schedule, you have the option to do so. Now, once you're in this, once you're in this particular, these particular screens, you have just given the Tree of Life Church, you or you've scheduled your giving, you are all set. You, it's going to make it so much easier when you come back to get logged in. You have the option again to log right in. It'll keep your information saved in there. You can find any life groups that you want to be a part of. See the groups that you've already signed up for. Any privacy settings if you'd like to change that. And then finally, you can update your profile. And that's it in a nutshell. Thank you so much for watching this video. And God bless.